Today's topic, the vocabulary, is a family tree, okay? So first of all, look at the legends, okay? We have the, the purple line means children and the little heart means married, okay? You know what married is? When two people meet, they fall in love and they get married, okay? They spend their lives together. So, first of all, look here. This is you, okay? If you're a boy or a girl, it doesn't matter. Imagine this is you. If you're a girl, imagine this is a girl, okay? First of all, we're going to see the top part and then we're going to the bottom. So, let's see. You're this guy. You have a great grandfather and a great grandmother, okay? Remember that you have two types of grandfather. Your parents' grandfather and grandmother and your mother's grandfather and grandmother, okay? So, they're two different families. But here, we're just going to explain one so it can be simpler. So, your great-grandfather and your great-grandmother, they meet, they fall in love, and they get married, okay? When they get married, they have children. They have your great-uncle and your grandfather, okay? They are brothers. And on your other family... Some, uh, your great-grandfather and great-grandmother had your grandmother and had your great-aunt, okay? And they were sisters. Guess what? Your grandfather and your grandmother meet, fall in love, and get married. And so they had children, okay? They had your father, they had your aunt, and they had your uncle. They three are siblings, okay? They're related. And on your other family, they had your mother, they had your aunt, and they were sisters, okay? Guess what? Your mother and your father meet, they fall in love, and they get married, and so they have children. But the same happens with your aunt and uncle, okay? Your aunt meets a guy, very handsome and very nice, she falls in love, and they get married, okay? So, they have kids too, okay? So, when your aunt and uncle have kids, then for you, these are your cousins, okay? It doesn't matter if it's a girl and a boy, they're still cousin, okay? There's not a correct way to say cousin for girl and cousin for boy. That's just cousins. And your father and your mother had you, they had your brother, and they had your sister, okay? When you meet somebody and you fall in love and want to get married, you're going to become the husband if you're the man, and your girlfriend is going to become the wife, okay? And so, when your brother gets married, okay, the girlfriend is going to become your sister-in-law, okay, for you. This is your sister-in-law. When your sister gets married, the boy or the, the boyfriend is going to become, for you, your brother-in-law. Okay? And then guess what? When you two get married, you're going to have children. And the same for your sister. Okay? When your sister gets married or your brother gets married, they're going to have children, and for you, the boy be Okay, wait. There we go. The boy becomes your nephew, and the girl becomes your niece. I am sorry for my arrows, okay? And when you get married and have children, the boy is your son, and the girl is your daughter. Okay? go when your son and your daughter fall in love and get married okay if they get married the girl becomes your daughter-in-law and the boy becomes your son-in-law okay and when they have kids 
I don't know why we can't see this. Okay, I'm just going to escape this. Well, when they have children, when your son and daughter have children, then they become, guess what? Your, your grandson, grandson, and your granddaughter. Okay, I'm going to write them here because we can't see them. So, grandson. I'm sorry for my typing, but for my writing. I'm doing my best with this tool. So, this is your grandson, okay? And this would be your right, grand. daughter there you go okay so granddaughter daughter is just like in here but yeah my type my writing is not great okay so this is your family tree we're going to see some examples so you can finish understanding everything I'm going to erase all of this there you can see it clearer okay and I'm going to continue with this Let me just, there we go okay so let's see some examples grandfather and grandmother my grandparents love dancing so instead of saying grandfather and grandmother, you can say grandparents all together, okay? Because they're a couple. If you're going to refer just as just to your grandfather, then you stay with grandfather. And if you're referring only to your grandmother, then it's just grandmother. Okay, let's see the next example. Aunt and uncle. Aunt Taylor and Uncle Calvin went to a restaurant. There we have your aunt and uncle, Taylor and Calvin. Next, cousins. My cousins are the best kids in the world. Do you get along with your cousins? Then we have brother and sister. My sister and my brother are always fighting. I think we can see that a lot. 